Uh, next, I'd like to call up uh, the individual uh, who has been largely responsible uh, for the lead on the Re Iran Refined Petroleum Sanctions Act, uh, Ileana Ross Leighton, who is our ranking member uh, on the Foreign Affairs Committee, who together with uh, the chairman uh, is uh, working on these issues. Thank you so much, Eric. I am uh, so thrilled to be here with our GOP uh, leadership and, uh, of course, with our uh, wonderful friend, Ambassador Dory Gold, on the need to address the Iranian threat with a sense of urgency and not complacency. A similar sense of complacency was shattered eight years ago on 9-11. We realized that protecting our homeland and defeating our enemies would require innovative approaches and an unconventional view of the threats that we face. However, when looking at the response from the U.S. and the so-called international community on, to the Iranian nuclear threat, it would appear that some have forgotten already the lessons of 9-11. Many believe that because Iran may have not yet mastered all of the elements needed for an operational nuclear weapon, that we have the luxury of time. But Iran has already produced 1,400 kilograms of low-enriched uranium, which can easily be used for a dirty nuke. So the nuclear threat from Iran already exists in radiological form, and it is increasing every day. What is the U.S. response uh, to this threat? As Dory says, we are five minutes to midnight. Next week, as Eric pointed out, the United Nations in, the, uh, in New York, for the first time, we will have the President of the United States who will be chairing the meeting of the U.N. Security Council. The Council will be holding a special summit on the general issue of nuclear proliferation, but will ignore the actions of specific countries such as Iran. The U.S. will not use its presidency of the Security Council to pursue further sanctions targeting the Iranian regime. In fact, rather than taking immediate action against the regime, the U.S. and others have again succumbed to the Iranian manipulation of dialogue. France, Germany, Britain, Russia, China, and the U.S. will meet with the Iranian regime in Brussels on October 1st to resolve the dispute over Tehran's nuclear program. Let's get this straight. As the threat posed by the Iranian regime increases, as the Iranian regime inches ever closer, closer to weaponizing its nuclear program, the response from the international community, community is to schedule more talks and bouldering the, emboldening the regime even more. Uh, what is the strategy? What is this? Where is the sense of urgency? Simply put, there is none. Fortunately, we are not without alternatives, as Congressman Pence and Congressman Cantor have pointed out. In an effort to hit the Iranians where they are most vulnerable, namely their ability to purchase refined gasoline products, I joined Chairman Howard Berman in introducing 2194, the Iran Refined Petroleum Sanctions Act. It has over 300 co-sponsors, but it still awaits committee action. It's always mañana. Mañana is now. This vital legislation must move to the floor of the House without delay, then to the Senate, and then to the President's desk for our survival. To that of our survival of our Democratic ally Israel, we must act effectively and urgently. Thank you. Thank you, Liana. Uh, next